Throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Miley. Oh yeah, twerking like Miley. Don't pop it like Miley. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. So long. The night from the fairy tales. My hair on the black horse. It's hard to believe Nanka dabbled in witchcraft. Such a nice old girl. Yeah. Has she got a black cat? She has. Dried herbs? Plenty. And has found a moonshaped bird. Shoot. Defeat Ooh. and desertion. You laid the bats are slapping the muck to the working man. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitag sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive. And well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right! Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. 
He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell.
Witcher. A word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? The sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in Oxenfurt, you say. Well, maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Wouldn't give my hopes up, though. I shall try. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Incidentally, what of my Annie? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. In faultest feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? 
Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I'd take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. So long. <laughs> 